family multi-pack and living room set street dated for next week? Well, why the heck are they out on the floor ready with price tags? No! What's going on guys, it's your boy Avionics back with another action figure review video. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing if you are tuning back in. Thank you for coming by again. But anyways, in this review video, no, we are not reviewing the living room and uh, family set, unfortunately, but the rest of the Simpsons stuff did show up at a Target here in Las Vegas. You know, I wasn't even looking for these, but um, I, I turned around and I saw all the Simpsons stuff, including the family room and living room set, or the family set and living room, but unfortunately the register said street dated for next week, and I talked to supervisors and they said that they cannot sell them to me. I will have to wait till next week. But we have the solo figures. We've got Bart Simpson, Homer Simpson, and Otto. There was another Homer Simpson there, so I imagine that's the case. Um, that's in the shipper case is two Homers, one Otto, and a Bart Simpson. But these are $13 each, and they just came, like I said, today is Monday, uh, what, July 14th? No! And um, yeah, they just I just saw them at Target. But um, the DPCI number will be down below in the video description if you're going to try and hunt these down. But these were on my radar when I initially saw them all over Toy News being announced for this summer. And I was planning to get them. So first of all, let's take a look at Bart's box. Put these two guys away. So this is all from Jack Specific. Alright, so here it says Bart's name. We have uh, Ma uh, Maggie and Marge. It says it's for ages 4 and up, but you know, us... Uh, Simpsons collectors or anyone, you know, um, that's wanting to get these, you know, it's for us, for us adult collectors. Down here is also a barcode. You know, I grew up in the 90s watching The Simpsons. Uh, I kind of grew out of them, uh, like late 90s, but it's good to have these in my collection as I did. It was a part of my childhood, shot of the back of the packaging. So there was no groundskeeper Willie there. Like I said, two homers, one Bart, one Otto. They had their, their cat there. And what's cool is, oh, there's Lisa. Homer goes around the corner. And what's cool is you can have, if you're going to keep in the box or hold on to the boxes, you can have them side by side like that to create a, a nice, cool view of, of those. And then here is Homer Simpson. And he, look, he looks like he comes with a box of donuts, including one per, uh, partially chewed donut right there. So it says Homer on the top. His face, his mugshot right there on the side, UPC barcode. And then on the back, shows the rest of this uh, wave, including a nice close-up shot of Homer. Here's a view of Otto's packaging. He comes with a guitar. On top it says Otto. That's his mugshot right there. And here's his barcode. And then on the back, a promo shot of him holding the guitar. All right, now let's go ahead and open all three up. First, let's take a look at all the accessories. So Bart comes with his skateboard that includes a peg for uh, one of his feet. And then it's got it's a red and green striped skateboard on, on the surface. And then on the bottom, it's brown. And then the skateboard trucks are light blue with purple wheels and it does spin they do spin but they don't really it's not like free spinning like with bearings or anything but yeah it's a skateboard for bart and then as far as homer simpson goes we do have this partially chewed partially bitten not chewed, partially bitten donut it's a uh, regular donut color with pink frosting and sprinkles but the sprinkles are not painted and then he does come with this pretty cool box of donuts which looks to be like a 112 scale accessory that you can use for other you know action figures it's a like a salmon colored donut box and then inside you can fit the full you can fit that loose donut in there making it a full dozen donuts and uh but this door is removable too it actually came off when i was taking it out of the, the packaging but it simply goes back on it'd be cool if they actually had um, the brand, uh, like a store name on there. And then, because I think they did have like a donut shop in the cartoon, if I'm not mistaken. And then Otto, he comes with this pretty cool guitar 
which looks to be about a 112 scale too perhaps but it's uh, basically two colors of plastic you have this like very very light tan and then the guitar itself is red no other paint very light piece of plastic all right now let's take a look at the figures themselves now i'm going to back these guys up let me put everything so here's a closer look at bart simpson like i said they seem to be the same scale as like sh figure arts mario and uh zelda or link i have those figures here so we'll compare the size next to them but this is bart's head sculpt kind of looks they're, they're very just emotionless it'd be nice if they actually sculpted like a smile on each of them actually but and you can actually see like part of his brow indentations there yeah but they just have this dead look to them you see a little bit of a defect in the white paint right there but um here's the bat on the back side it actually shows the uh some licensing it says jack specific made in china right there and then you know his typical shirt uh sh jorts and his shoes let's take a look at his articulation now so we have his head goes all the way around it does not hinge um, whatsoever he can do a t pose like this shoulders go all the way around and then we do have swiveling like a bicep cut of some sort and then we have one joint at the elbow and that's the kind of joint he's gonna have you can see it's not too bad and then his hands yes they do rotate and they do hinge side to side but he's his right hand i mean that's the only accessory he comes with but his right hand can kind of grip something small uh his left hand not so much let's see if he okay so he does rotate side to side right there and then his leg his legs can split as far as that goes and kick forward as far as that all the way back pretty good single joint at the knee and also it looks to be swiveling as well so it does swivel and then oh that's a kind of a weird you just have to bend his his foot but yeah the range of motion for his leg right there at the knee and then the feet swivel side to side and then he does have two peg holes at the bottom for stands but he's got a low center of gravity he's going to be able to bounce quite well and you know it feels kind of cheaply made but for 13 dollars we have a good size bart simpson oh yeah forgot the hair pretty cool texture up there to show the spikes but it's, he stands really well and all the articulation points aren't loose they feel pretty good all right moving on to homer simpson he's got his classic white shirt and classic blue pants on the back it says jack specific once again but his hairline goes all the way around i noticed that his the two hairs on the top are kind of soft of a sculpt and then his regular shoes so there's his two peg holes for a stand but this is a nice stocky this one feels i mean like it's a kind of cheaply made but it's pretty solid these are these feel pretty solid in my hand all right so his head is going to be able to rotate like that T pose like that shoulders all the way around and then we're gonna have that swivel at the bicep one joint at the elbow and then he has bigger hands so he's gonna be able to grip stuff better so rotate all the way around hinging side to side both hands side to side he does rotate at the waist and you can kind of feel and hear the cheap plastic that's used but you know like i said 13 dollars. i think this is a pretty cool figure for for this size splits wise is not going to go very far but he's going to be able to kick forward pretty good all the way back before the hit the butt his knees single joint at the knees and then let's see there is a little bit of swivel at the thigh at the ball like there's a ball there and then the feet swivel side to side all right moving on to auto so this figure looks pretty cool he's got a lot of colors going on 
um, the classic auto look <laughs> the only auto look really but the texture in the hair looks pretty cool it's got all, all the, the bumps and the good sculpt of it and then he's wearing headphones and he's got a Walkman clip to <laughs> his shirt but it's supposed to be clipped to his like waistline really got the orange shoes with white accents and the black purple shorts he's even got this bracelet here uh, this pink shirt orange hat blue headphones with uh, orange ear cups and then the licensing on the back all right articulation let's see if okay so his head's only it can go all the way around but because of his hair it's gonna be hitting his shoulders and everything but you can turn it and then the headphone cord is pretty soft it's not removable though and neither the headphones or the Walkman all right articulation T-pose with the hair in the way all the way around at the shoulders got the bicep cut the single joint at the elbow hands rotation and hinging and then he rotates at the hip kicking all the way forward all the way back for it hits his butt and then a little bit of a swivel right there at the top but then it is gonna swivel at just above the knee single joint at the knee and then swiveling at the foot including two peg holes right there all right so starting off with both super mario brothers mario and luigi here is bart uh the mario and luigi are sh figure arts and here's homer with the two and then here's otto with them so here is bart with jack specific uh link and zelda breath of the wild action figures and then here's Homer with them. And then here's them with Otto. All right, we're going to throw in some NECA Cartoon Ninja Turtles into the mix. So here's Bart with Pizza Club, Wrath, and Mikey. And here's Homer with them. And then here they are with Otto. And then in this shot, we have Hasbro, G.I. Joe, Classified, Shipwreck, and Marvel Legends, Iron Spider slash Peter Parker with Homer Simpson and with Otto. So it appears that this line from Jack Specific, the uh, Solo, the Simpsons action figures, they look to be about that 112 scale, you know, according to all the comparisons I just showed you with, which will fit pretty good. And, uh, you know, even with the Mario and Luigi SH figure arts and the other Jack Specific figures, uh, Link and Zelda, they all size up well with the, any kind of 112th action figure. But yeah, so you're going to be able to find these now at Target stores, $13 each. Once again, the DPCI code will be in the uh, in the video description. Barcodes were shown earlier in the video. And once again, the living room set and the fa uh, the family multi-pack are not available to be purchased yet, but they do seem to be at the stores already. But as far as these Simpsons action figures, I just wish they had smiles on their faces rather than dead looks for emotions. And you know, the, the articulation points are you know, they're, they're very similar to the uh, Zelda and Link Jack specific action figures that were shown in the scale comparison. You know, I'm not going to complain much for a $13 figure, but, you know, I just wish they had uh, a smile on their face. But if you guys enjoyed watching this video, I'd appreciate it. Hit that like button. If you're planning on hunting these down and adding them to your collection, let me know down in the comment section below and what you guys think of these figures. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and ring that bell to be notified of new review videos. Thanks again for tuning in.